In this video, we'll take a look at how to build a photography turntable. A photography turntable is good for creating a fly around effect in time lapse and stop motion shots. Initially, this seemed like a pretty complicated build, but it's actually surprisingly simple. We started out trying to avoid the build entirely and manually move the turntable. We got some of our early footage that way, but we found it really hard to get the kind of shots that we wanted. Then we stumbled across a design on Thingiverse by Umlaut. Thingiverse and Umagine are websites that host open source CAD models. If you need to print, mill, or laser cut something, check there first. Maybe somebody's already built and shared what you're looking for. To get started, we downloaded the turntable design and laser cut it out of quarter inch birch plywood. The model has cutouts for all the parts you'll need. A base, a plate, supports for rollers, a stepper motor mount, and bearing blocks. The rest of the build is mostly skateboard bearings and M6 and M8 hardware. The Thingiverse page includes a bill of materials so you can make sure to order the right parts. We started by putting together the bearing blocks. The middle two layers are, are widened a little bit to accommodate the bearing, and then the top and bottom layers are a little narrower to trap the bearing in. Next, we bolted the bearings to their standoffs and bolted the standoffs to the plate. These will be rollers to support the bottom side of the plate. We put a bearing in the center and bolted the plate to it. The motor is fixed to a mounting plate and coupled to the drive gear. The whole assembly together is made up of a stepper motor, a coupler, the drive gear, and a bearing block with a skateboard bearing. We had to make the drive gear triple thick to deal with some of the alignment and warping issues we've been having. The motor sticks up high above the turntable platform, so we made an octagonal riser to hold the whole platform above the motor. Because the motion is carefully planned, the same move can be repeated over and over, allowing shots to be recreated and blended together. Once the bugs were worked out, this was a ton of fun to play with. It was really tempting to stop here, but we decided to try our hand at designing our own. There were three features that we wanted to make sure to add to this new model. We wanted to add a slip ring to the top for powered projects. A slip ring is a device that lets power and electrical signals rotate freely. We also wanted to flip the gear inside out and put the stepper motor under the riser. There won't be anything to snag on if the whole table is self-contained. Finally, we'd like to add leveling feet to make it easier to set up without tipping. I drew up the plans in OpenSCAD and started to model the next iteration. In the next video, we'll take a look at our rebuilt version of the turntable and talk about how we got there. We've got a lot of great stuff planned for this series and we're really excited to share it with you. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our build videos. Thanks for watching.